What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some more competitive tips and tricks. Today, we are doing the lines of sight and bomb plant spots for the map Fringe. Yay! Um, this is probably going to be an SMD map. It's fairly good, although with all these spots, once they're known, um, it may not be, because this map is going to play really slow, because nobody's ever going to be able to push through spawns, just because of the insane spots that are in this game. But... For now, I think it's going to be in the rotation, so I figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys spots. It's going to work the same way as the last video. We're going to start with direct lines of sight, and then we're going to move on to other areas around the map for flanks and maybe some hardpoint stuff. So, yeah, although I don't know if this is going to be a hardpoint map, so I, I haven't played hardpoint on it, just SMD. But, anyway, let's get into the video. So, first spot, plant the bomb right there, right where I shot that bullet. Come right over here. And you're going to sit on this side of the wall, look this way, and then just rotate. Then back. Rotate. Then back. This is a day one spot. It's going to be pretty common soon, and uh, people will check it. So use it while you can. Next spot is right here. You just jump up, and you can check it, obviously. You can look this way. Be, you know, just look, and then turn. Look at the crack spot if you want right here to see if they're coming down the hall or alley, whatever you want to call it, and then just jump and check. So nice, simple, easy spot. Um, another spot is planning it, you know, right here, and you just come here or here. Uh, this is another day one spot, obviously. Another thing you can do is plan it right here, and you just come right over here. I may have just pointed at the wrong, no, I did point it at the right side of the bomb. And you just stand here and you can look at the bomb and you can just shoot them off. So nice, simple, easy spot right there. And then one last spot for A is planning it as far over as you can, right about there or something, you know. And you're just going to come right over here. And two things you can do. You can sit here, jump up and check it. Or you can get on top of this fence, look between this crack here, and you will be able to see the bomb when you plant it. Nice, simple, easy. You can also watch the A rotation from here, just throwing that out here. Um, moving on to B. So, for B, there is not a lot. It is mostly day one stuff, as I would like to call it, things that get known very, very quickly. However, there are two decent spots. So, the common stuff, go barn, sit right there in that corner, um, sit on these fences and look, go between this door here and, you know, jump up kind of check things like that however one thing you can do is plan it like here or here and then come back here and you can check mid as in check not actually try and shoot check or you can check B bomb so what you do if you're checking mid is you just jump like this look out towards mid all right if you're checking B bomb then you're gonna come right up here and you're going to jump as close as possible I messed it up hold up I, it's it's not hard to mess this up for some reason, but you do this. Why am I missing? Oh my goodness. Come on. I can do this. I promise. There. You can see the corners of the bomb. Okay? You just have to miss this corner. Here. Don't, don't like, jump into that. Apparently, I'm extremely special with that. But, yeah. So, you'll be able to see it. You'll check it, not shoot. And then if they're on it, you can run around and then shoot them. Then the only spot that's actually really good is actually two spots. Um, you plant the bomb like right here. As you can see, you can plant it right there. It's in front of this plant. And what you do is there's two things. One, you come right over here. Get on this. And you can, you know, head glitch mid or whatever you want to do. And then just pop up, double jump, and you can see the bomb right in front of the plant. Or you can come here. And you need a sniper rifle for this, for sure. You go all the way here, and double jump. You'll be able to just see it. It will be very hard to see with an assault rifle, to be completely honest. Um, and on YouTube, even with a sniper rifle, it looks a little funky. But if you have a sniper rifle, sniper rifle you will be able to see it in-game. Trust me, I promise. I've tested it, and it's a decent spot to use. So... That's all the spots for direct lines of sight. We're now going to go over some of the things around the map that are useful. So, number one is right over here. You're going to get on top of this fence. Don't let the timer run out. And you go all the way to this corner. 
and boom, you can watch anything that pushes through B. Um, you should be able to get any kill. It should be pretty simple. Next is kind of simple, but you can basically head glitch this, and you can see them while running. You can also jump and see you know anybody while running on the other side. You can go on this train for a couple seconds, jump forward, look, you know, do whatever you want. Next thing, um, so you can stand on this and look between these and you have a nasty little head glitch for barn. You can do the same thing right here, nasty head glitch for barn, although you can see flank. Or if you want style points, you can get on top of this fence and do it as well, you know, just whatever you want to do. This lets you check the, uh, the fence as well. So there's that, and then moving on over back towards A for some spots. So one thing you can do is you can actually get on top of this fence, and this is the hardest fence to get on on this map. It's extremely difficult to stay up here without dying, but you can do it. It takes practice. I haven't practiced enough. Oh, I did it. Yay. So what you would do if you're doing this now unfortunately when you jump i believe you will fall off when you do this but you can actually check that b rotation a little bit oh you won't fall so you can sit here you can you know be watching for anything pushing through and you can uh just look right up you can actually maybe see the bomb no you won't be able to see the bomb but you can almost see the bomb if they plant it there um and then going right over here you don't need to get on the fence for this just jump and check the bridge see if anybody's on the bridge and the reason i ask you to check to see if anybody is on the bridge is because there are a lot of things you can do at the bridge so number one you can get right up here it's an easy spot you can watch this way there mid barn back barn I mean you've got every rotation imaginable like it's a lot but if you know where they're coming from this is a nice spot obviously there's the head glitch on this truck right here um, that everybody uses that's why I don't go over it then of course you can stand right back here and kind of the same rotation watches that you're seeing again. Uh, you can stand here if you know they're A, watch the A door. If they come alley, they, they, they can't see you. I mean, even if they do the jump spot, they can't see you here, and you will catch them off guard when they start rotating. You can also come back here and get on this and, you know, kind of watch it from here. Um, so it is what it is. You can also lay down, look at back B. So a lot you can do from bridge. Even more, you can head glitch right here, watch A, watch Alley, look through the truck, look under the truck for feet, so yeah, there's a lot you can do there, and also, of course, there are some rock things back here. Um, you can't go anywhere up here without the timer starting, but you can head glitch these rocks and watch some things, you know, just kind of looking in the back here. The main one is obviously right here for the B rotation, it's an extremely nasty head glitch, very difficult to get a pick off of it, so keep that in mind. And then, mainly, there's just a couple more things. So, one, you can look at mid-map from here. Two, you can watch the A-cut from here. You can then also watch this head glitch from right here. And then there's a bunch about this truck. So, one watch a cross you can see the door you can see the cross just jump up and get the kill two look through this window you can see top head glitch it you can see top lay down you can see top window head glitch this you can see mid window um, move back you can see it through the window again also there's a peak spot right here you can see the window again this is nice to check and see if they're at that a spot I was talking about you can also head glitch this to watch the top window on that side again so basically those are all of the important spots on this map if you haven't figured it out never ever ever go here and never ever ever go here those two spots are just asking to die this map will be played very slowly most likely after a very quick break there will be a quick break and people will get in position and that will be basically than just a waiting game. So that's probably how this map's gonna work. Um, it's a decent map, but we'll see if it sticks around in the rotation. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if I missed any spots, if I'm just, you know, forgetting something. I mean, obviously, I guess you could lay here as well, but you know, I mentioned there's just a lot of stuff about this truck. Oh, and head glitch this. I mean, see, there, there's just so much you can do with this truck. This truck is like 
the centerpiece to everything. It's got the, the most head glitches that I've, I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then please let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.